What's going on? I ordered a bimini top for my big boat, my 1756 G3 Gator Tough. Um, one of my best videos, or at least with the most views here recently, is the overview of that boat. And it's been about a year and several months since I did the video or since I bought the boat. And I've done a few things to it, so I thought, why not give an update on it and go over a few of the things that I did. Uh, I have made videos of a couple things, but there's several things that I just didn't do a video of, and I figured I'd go over that. And also, just a little quick overview of putting this Bimini top up. I ordered it from Amazon. Um, it's 180 bucks shipped. There's actually ones cheaper than that. There's Bimini tops on Amazon for like 120 bucks. So I went with one of the more expensive ones. Uh, now, if you Google specific Bimini tops for that boat, and you come up with, it's not G3 brand, it's some other place, it's a website, and they're like almost 500 bucks. But I've done a little bit of scratching around, and I've heard a lot of good things about the ones you can get from Amazon. So I'm gonna give it a shot, and I'd like to, I'd really like to put it on today because I got a little free time on my hands, but I don't, you probably can't see, you might be able to hear it in the background, it's raining. Now, it's supposed to stop around 12 o'clock, so I went ahead and opened up what was in the box, what came with it, and looked at the instructions, and it actually says to pretty much put the Bimini top together first and then install it on the boat, so I can at least do that in the garage. So. Like I said, you know, all these are probably different, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time going over each detail and just kind of make it short so you can get a little quick overview, a glimpse of what it takes to put a bimini top on one of these boats. Well, all right, let's get to work. That wasn't too bad. It actually came with a little cheap screwdriver too. But that's as far as I can get. Next thing I need to do is figure out where it's gonna go on the boat and go ahead and drill my holes for my little anchor spots and then put it on, hopefully. I'm hoping this goes smoothly. Um, I measured a bunch and I hopefully I did it right because what worries me about putting a bimini top on my boat is it's the center console and Right behind it, I have a cooler that I use for a leaning post or a seat. And then right behind it is the actual seat post, the factory seat post. I made what looks like kind of like a football goal post that has two rod holders on it. And that sits down in that seat post. And I'm worried about when this thing is folded up, where is it going to be? And I catfish a lot out of the back of my boat. So I have those two rod holders and I have a rod holder on each corner of my boat. So I don't want to be having to step over this thing and I also don't need it to be right there in the way where that seat post is and obviously I can't have it where my seat is and another thing that worries me about it is if I push it too far back I'm going to lose shade for the front of the boat because usually when I'm catfishing I got my poles in the back and I just sit on the front deck just where it drops off and that's where I need my shade. So the further I push it back to get out of the way of the seat and stuff, the more it's gonna push the shade away from me. So, uh, like I said, I measured as well as I could and I think I'm gonna be able to get it to work, I hope so. But we need this rain to get out of here so we can finish this project up. So I'll see you then. All right, so I got a little impatient. It's still kind of drizzling, but I went ahead and brought the bimini top out here and put it in place and as you can see, it's just past that seat post I was talking about. And 
it's far up enough to where I can still access this hatch back here my batteries and stuff are so I think that's gonna work so what I did is I just put it here and then just kind of eyeballed this and then it kind of stays in place and I pulled a measurement with a tape and come up with I think it was like 98 and a half or something so I put me a little mark I did the same thing on the other side and then it comes with these little brackets this is what actually bolts the bimini top to the boat and it says in the instructions that it has tapping screws and i'm assuming it's going to be uh, stainless steel if you ever mess with stainless steel before they will break in a heartbeat so what i went ahead and did is line this little bracket up with my 98 and a half inch mark and then pre-drilled my holes which the closest size i have is an eighth inch without getting too big so hopefully this will work and i'm probably going to try to just do it by hand to maybe risk not snapping them screws off we'll see but that's what i got left is to go ahead and drop that go ahead and mount these and then it's got the little anchors for the for the straps it's a uh, four of those so it doesn't say like how far to measure up and put those which the straps are adjustable so what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and just, I guess, get the bimini top up and just kind of eyeball it and stretch the straps out and see where they need to, to go to be close. So let's go ahead and knock this out. I need to put uh, something over this camera before I ruin it. What I did is I eyeballed where this little anchor bolt should be and then I pulled a measurement and then I did the same thing on the other side and matched the measurement. Went ahead and drilled those out. And then up front, I mean, I could have done the same, the same thing, pulling a measurement, probably from that clip would be the easiest way, but I just kind of eyeballed this seam I got right here in the boat. It looked close, so I kind of lined it up. Did that on both sides. It, they don't have to be perfect because all your adjustments, you know, come from these straps. But that's it. It is uh, put on. Now I'm gonna have to do some final adjusting. It's kind of leaned forward too far, but I actually might like it like that because I want to be able to see my rods in the back. And like I was talking about earlier, I sit right here. So I want to make sure I got some shade. Hey, get in there and make sure I got plenty of room everywhere. And then I need to figure out how to roll this thing up. It came with a boot that stores it in. I need to figure all that out while I'm here instead of on the water. All right, it's all tucked up in this boot now. That wasn't bad at all, getting it in there. Like I said, I just kind of move it out of the way and I'll be able to get my rod holder in here. And like I said, I can still access this hatch. So it worked out pretty good. And it was easy to install. Uh, the only issue that I can foresee will be like if I don't have it deployed, if I got it laying down like that, because I, I don't need it for whatever reason, and then I'm catfishing or whatever, you know, it's going to be in the way. I have to step over it, but hopefully I won't trip and fall out the boat and drown. But, you know, most of the time I'm, I assume I'm going to be using it. I, I, when I had it up, I got in here, and you can see all the rods. I, I mean, it's, it's plenty of clearance without me even adjusting it. It might look a little wonky how it's kind of tilted forward, but that's probably how I'm gonna have to run it anyways. Well, all right. That was an easy project. I mean, that was less than an hour and I was dealing with rain and stuff and I ain't never done it before. So if you're a little nervous about putting up a bimini top, man, 
it's easy. I did it all by myself under an hour, probably 45, maybe 40 minutes tops. So, uh, real easy project. If you think about getting one, go ahead and pull that trigger. Now, um, pending work, tomorrow I am gonna go fishing. And like I said, I'm gonna give y'all a little quick overview of the few things I've done in this boat and discuss those and maybe catch some catfish. I'll see you then.